Hell, oh, great. That's all we needed. More little minion dudes to scurry around to the place while I'm trying to sleep. What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Robots in Disguise Minicon Deployers Overload and Backtrack. So here we are, and there they are. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front, you have Overload. He, he wants to, to punch something. And you got Backtrack all like, Transform! And they have Backtrack on the top. You just have Overload and Backtrack. Overload. Backtrack, things and stuff. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. And if you have the app, you can scan the toys and unlock stuff in the game. la di da la di da And that's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along, here we have the next Minicon Deployer in the Robots in Disguise cartoon. Here we have uh, Overload. And um, you can see here, he's a, he's a tank. He's a tank thing. The best description I can give it. Kind of an H tank dealy going on here. And uh, I love the plastic they used because it does have a nice metal flake finish. I don't know if you can see it, if it's coming across on camera, but it does have a nice sparkle. And I love it when they do this with the plastic. I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, not a whole lot of paint on them. As you can see, you do get some orange right here on the, uh, on the turret. You get some orange bits right here. Some gunmetal kind of gray on these bits right here and these bits. Get a little bit of red there on what will be his chest, a little bit of silver on the abdomen, and that's pretty much it. But there is um, a good amount of molded detail, though. It does look nice, but, you know. Again, it'd be nice if it had a little bit more paint on it, but it is what it is. Um, underneath, you know, there's a lot of hollow, just a lot of, uh, a lot of empty space going on here, but at this point, I mean, yeah, you should expect it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, there you go, and there you have the spot where the minicon goes. And, uh, yeah, and there you have the sticker that you can scan with the app. If you have the app, free scan on me. There you go. You're welcome. So there you go. And he does have the little little wheels on the treads here. So if you can roll fairly decently, not bad. So put the mini count off to the side. And we'll bring in Warrior Class Bumblebee here for a comparison, just so you can see how he scales here. There you go. Quite a bit wider than the Bumble Meister. Right there. And uh, there you go. So here is his uh, Minicon here. Backtrack now. Whereas uh, Fracture had the uh, Torpedo Minicons. And Drift had the uh, Disc Minicons. Uh, this guy has balls. Hey, might as well beat everybody to the punch with a bad joke. Okay, might as well just you know, get it over with. But anyway. Yes, um, <laughs> this is uh, a Cyclone Minicon. That's what they're calling it on the show. And uh, yeah, and again, there's the sticker that you can scan with the app. Go ahead, scan it. Have fun. Yay. Actually, I've been playing the game a lot more. <laughs> Don't know why, but the game's gotten kind of addictive. Um, but yeah, here it is. And you can see it's just it, it's a ball. A little bit of paint there. Right there in this bit, and you do get a little bit of striping. It doesn't go all the way around, unfortunately. It's just there, but yeah, there you go. And of course, you can launch the Minicon. You just take it and just clip it right there. And you push the button on the turrets, and launches the Minicon. Right there. And you do want to make sure that you're pushing the figure down, because if you're just holding it up in the air and you push the button, you can see that it it doesn't fire. There's just, there's basically like a, a safety here, a release. You have to push this down. When this is pushed in, then you can push the button and whoop, there you go. It works. So kind of has like a little safety catch there. So you have to make sure you're pushing the figure down when you're deploying your minicon. But um works very well. I mean it does launch them a good ways. So there you have that. And to transform this little guy, you just kind of come in here. And you just kind of pull his arms out. Then you grab his legs and bring them down. And as you bring them down, you see it extends his body there, brings up his head. And you can just pull his arms down here with these hinges. And uh, there you go. There you have a little backtrack. <laughs> 
And you can see they did actually paint his face. Nice silver. Got some green eyebrows going on there. And yeah. Um, articulation wise, he does have, you know, this, this outward movement right here. He does have a hinge. He actually does have elbows, which is pretty cool. 90 degrees of elbow bend. You can use that joint too. So. That's pretty much it. The legs, I mean, if you start moving the legs, you start undoing the transformation, but, yeah, there you go. There's his little, his little Minicon buddy there, and just for comparison, we'll just bring it out. Yeah. One of Driss Minicons, and we'll just bring out one of Fractures Minicons. And you can see how these little dudes stack up with each other right there. There you go. They're so cute. So cute. They're like a bunch of little toddlers. Just running around doing evil things for their master. Aww. Now he does come with the uh, sprue of bits right here. And there's a tab right there. If you want to display him like that, you can if you want. I don't know why you would want. But hey, it's an option. But anyway, you do get this little orange sprue full of armor parts like the other Minicons have had. And we'll just bring these in. And you can see you get like a little helmet piece right here. A little bit with like thrusters and whatnot. And we'll just start clipping all this stuff on. This piece right here just tabs into the front of his head. And this bit right here just tabs into the back. And he does have these two little transclearance orange guns. And the tabs are already specific shapes, so they only go in one spot. Right there. So that tabs into that shoulder. This one tabs into this shoulder. And then you get these little bits right here and then just tab into the legs. And again, the, let's see the, the tab. I don't know how well you can see it, but you can see right there, the tab is a specific shape, so it only goes in one side. And get, get, stick. And uh, which way am I going here? Whoop, there we go. You slide those in from the side there. Like that. You have a bit here that goes into the back of the leg. And this side, and then just slides it from the side, like that, and you get this side in, right there, and you get this piece here, which goes into the back, and get on there. There you go, there you have him with his transclearant orange armor and armament right there, and yeah, I mean, it, you know, it, that's the playability. It's a neat concept. It's I will not display him with the stuff on him, but hey, you know, like I said, it adds to the playability. Gives you a little something more to do with him. There you go. And you can still transform him with all this stuff on. Just gonna close him back up. And all of it does stay on him. And you can still launch him right there. There you go. You can still launch him with all that stuff on him. So, there you go. They have a little, uh, little, um, what's his name? I forgot his name already. Backtrack. Jeez. Forget these little guys' names. Oh, and also, uh, right here on the tank, there are, uh, two tabs right here. So if you want to store the Minicons on the tank itself, you can do it. You can plug one on each side. Uh, you can plug, actually, Fractures Minicons on there. They do fit. You have to have them pointed, uh, backwards, though, but they'll fit on there. If you want. Uh, Drift Minicons, unfortunately, do not fit because you can see they have these uh, these little tabs that stick out. And uh, they just won't allow the, uh, you can see, they, they won't allow the tab to go in. So, no. They, they made it so these aren't compatible. Like, no, no. No Autobot Minicons on Decepticons. No, no. That's a no, no. No, no. So, anyway. I'll just transform this little guy. And... Whoop, there we go. And we'll put him off to the side for now. We'll get down to the transformation of Mr. Overload right here. So to transform him, you're just going to... Actually, we're going to start with the turret. Oh, uh, not the turret. With the uh, treads first. I'm just forgetting words left and right. And my God, my brain is scrambled. I don't know what's wrong. What's going on with my brain, man? You want to take the treads here. And you want to untab them from the side right here. And then you just take the tread. You bring it down on this hinge. And then you fold it up like that. 
and it reveals that tab, and that tab will go into that slot right there. So bring that up, tab it in. There you go. Second verse, same as the first. Untab that tread. Bring that down. Collapse that down. And bring that back up. Tap it in. There you go. You want to take the arms right here and just untap them from the sides. Bring them out. You want to take the turret here. You want to lift it up. Because you can see that bit right there that actually activates the, uh, the gimmick. Goes into that slot. So you want to raise that up. And then you can untab the arm and bring that out to the side. Like that. You, 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 not yet. Not ready for you yet. Then you take this bit right here and you just bring it around and up behind his back. And you take this whole chest panel and you bring it up on that double hinge. And push it into place. And we'll snap into place right there. And then you take his legs. Just straighten them out. Right there. Take his shoulders and you just swing them in to the body. Like that. The turret. You just swing in. Like that. And then this little plate right here you bring down. Boop. Reveal his face. And there you have Overload in his robot mode. He's actually a, a pretty cool looking robot. I, I do like the design of this guy. You know. And I'm sure people who are hating, you know, the, the animal looking... Decepticons on this show are probably going to appreciate that he just he looks like a robot. So there you go. Yay! Point for the haters. So, <laughs> I know there are people who don't like the animal designs. I dig it. But, you know. Hey, to each his own, like I, like I always say, man. To each his own, you're allowed to like what you like and not like what you don't. But, um, yeah, so there's Overload in his robot mode. And I like him. He's just kind of a, a nice, you know, beefy brute of a robot. And I always like that kind of design. Getting close here. Oh, my head sculpt. Nice head sculpt. Got the big orange mohawk going on there. Nice silver on the face. And they actually did paint in the eyes in a nice red. I don't know how you can see it. There you go. That's like red dot there for the eyes. With the black outline. It actually looks really nice. And, uh, yeah, like I said, overall, very nice design. You know, not a lot of paint. You know, you do get some of that gray, a little bit of red, silver on his abdomen. Not a whole lot of paint going on. And uh, when you look at him from behind, you can kind of see just a whole lot of whole lot of hollow going on there. You know, not much to him. <laughs> not a lot of substance. But, like I always say, I don't display my figures facing the wall, so I don't really care what the back looks like. But, there you go. Um, Articulation-wise, uh, there's no head movement. You can move the shoulders. 360 the shoulders are on a ball joint. So as you get some nice outward movements. So you get a nice forward movement, even some inward movement. Which is nice. You can use the transformation joints and you know get some inward pivot there on the shoulder if you want. Um, nothing at the elbows. Uh, the legs can only move outward and the knees can move inward. If you want to do do I don't know what you can do with that. Some kind of weird kind of weird yoga pose. There you go. Hey, there you go. Overload, it's it's overload yoga. It's the, the hot new craze on Cybertron, overload yoga. That's what they call the Decepticon dog. I don't know yoga poses because I don't do yoga. Anyway, let's continue on. <laughs> oh, man. Over 150,000 subscribers. I don't get it either. I really, I still don't get it. I still don't get it at all. But anyway, here he is with his little buddy here. <laughs> Backtrack. <laughs> so you can see how they look together. <clears throat> now, um, my other mini con deployers actually don't have them anymore. I got rid of them, so I can't, I can't uh, do comparisons with those guys because I got rid of them once I. Uh... Well, I, I, the, 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 the Drift Minicon Deployer I got rid of pretty much right after I did the review because I didn't want it anyway. I just wanted the Minicons and the Fracture Minicon Deployer I got rid of once I got the uh, Warrior. But um, I can't do uh, comparisons with those. But anyway, full comparison. Here he is with Bumblebee right there. That's how he looks. A little bit taller than Bumblebee. Uh, here he is with Grimlock because he looks like he should be around Grimlock's size. You can see he's a little bit taller than Grimlock. Uh, here he is with the Takara Grimlock. Which, eh, I don't know. Actually, I haven't watched the episode that he's in yet, so. 
I'm not quite for sure how big he's supposed to be. Uh, here he is with Fracture. Right there. And here he is with Megatronus. Right there. See how he scales there. And, uh, yeah, so there you go. Uh, one other thing, too, you actually can store the Minicon, if you wish, on uh, Overload here. And like I said, he does have the uh, tabs on his shoulders. You can have them sticking out of his shoulders right there. Or you can just take it, and he does have this, you know, ball-shaped hole right there. You can just take it and boop, pop it right back there. And there you go. So you can store it right there on his back. And one other thing you can do... With these transclearing bits, at least with the guns anyway, you can take the guns off. Take these guns off the sides. And they will actually tab into the uh, into the turret here. Because there are, I don't know if you can see it, these slots right there. And there are these tabs on either side. So you can take these little transclearing guns and just tab them on right there. Right there. Get on there. There you go. And that, you know, just gives it a little bit more firepower. Some trans-clearing firepower. I don't know. Looks kind of dumb, but hey. It's a thing. It's a thing you can do. That's all I'm saying. It's a, it's a thing you can do. But anyway, let's get this guy back into robot mode. Get in here. Get down here, you little guy. He's just a little guy. Here you go. So there you have overload and backtrack. There you go. Like I said, loving this line. I, I, I enjoy it, anyway. <laughs> For as many people who don't enjoy these figures, I like them. I think they're fun. Um, and I like the designs. And, uh, yeah, he's a cool-looking robot. Again, you know, it's... I mean, yes, they're, they're, they're a whole lot of hollow, as you can see. I mean, there's not much to them. But still, I can enjoy them. For what they are, if you can't... Well, hey, that's cool to each his own, like I always say, but... There you go. So if you would like an Overload or any Robots in Disguise toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my Robots in Disguise playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Robots in Disguise Minicon deployers overload and backtrack and this is MGO saying remember you don't stop playing because you grow old you grow old because you stop playing be geek be proud home in your face oh lord megatron us overload is here this world will be my stage and I will be the star performer yeah, yeah, whatever. Look, I need you to destroy some stuff for me. Okay, but, um, what's my motivation? What? A great performer like myself needs motivation. What is driving me to do what I do? Um, your motivation is, one, because I told you so, and two, if you don't do what I tell you, I will kill you. See, now, I hear you saying the words, but I just don't believe them. I'm not feeling it. I can always just rip your spark out. I'm sure you'll feel that. That was a bit better. Listen, after I'm done with my mission, I'll give you some acting lessons, okay? Good. Oh, oh good. Okay. I won't even charge you for them. I won't charge you for them. First lesson is free. First lesson is free. Just for you, Lord Megatron Nuss. I will be on my way. Exit stage right. Ugh. Actors are such weirdos.